Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we dive into the heart of the automotive industry's seismic shifts. It's no secret that the EV landscape has been rapidly evolving, but what's truly intriguing is the current state of affairs in the Chinese market. Once hailed as the vanguard of electric vehicle innovation, it now faces an uncertain future, prompting us to examine six telltale signs hinting at an imminent upheaval. Sign number six, the sluggish growth of the domestic market. In both North America and other Western markets, a common thread emerges. Growth has decelerated. This trend mirrors the situation in China, where after a period of robust expansion, the pace has markedly slowed. Year-over-year -year changes reflect this shift, with a decline from 96% in 2022 to 33% in 2023. Projections for the current year indicate further moderation, with expectations that the market will not exceed a 22% growth rate. While commendable under normal circumstances, such figures fall short of the lofty expectations of EV manufacturers. The subdued enthusiasm among customers is palpable, signaling a departure from the fervor that once characterized the Chinese market. As the era of early adopters wanes, many Chinese consumers opt for traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, driven by practical considerations. This shift has catalyzed a fierce price war, exacerbating the challenges facing the EV segment and underscoring broader concerns about market sustainability. Sign number five, the onset of a price war. As previously noted, car manufacturers meticulously aligned their strategies with the anticipated market growth in recent years. However, the shifting landscape has left them navigating a constricted space. While demand has waned, production has surged, exacerbating the challenge, especially in a market boasting nearly 100 EV manufacturers. In this hyper-competitive arena, differentiation options are limited, often culminating in resorting to price reductions as the primary tactic. Initially, slashing prices seemed like a viable solution, with Chinese EVs now averaging a 30% reduction in cost compared to a few months ago. Yet instead of bolstering appeal, these discounts have sparked a wave of discontent among prospective buyers. Many early adopters feel disillusioned, perceiving the drastic price cuts as a betrayal of their initial investment. With price reductions surpassing $5,000, the sentiment of being let down resonates deeply among those who diligently saved for their EV purchase. Some demonstrations have even erupted in response to these price fluctuations. Faced with uncertainty and apprehension, numerous potential buyers opt to refrain from purchasing, wary of potential remorse down the road. Moving on to sign number four, the commencement of a knockout phase. With market saturation reaching critical levels and demand plateauing, the survival of the fittest narrative looms large. Many of the burgeoning EV companies, buoyed by government subsidies, now face an existential reckoning. Struggling to turn a profit amid escalating price wars, numerous contenders are poised to exit the arena. Industry experts predict a stark consolidation with only a handful of players expected to endure the tumultuous decade ahead. As the top 10 EV manufacturers assert dominance, smaller scale rivals teeter on the brink of insolvency, signaling an imminent culling of the herd. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next sign at number three, navigating Tesla's challenges in the Chinese market. Though not native to China, Tesla's extensive presence in the country, employing thousands of Chinese workers and maintaining a significant market presence, offers a lens into the broader challenges facing the Chinese EV industry. Despite its global stature and profitability in the EV sector, Tesla grapples with the evolving dynamics of the Chinese market. As the second largest EV seller in China, Tesla has experienced a notable decline in sales, selling approximately 300,000 vehicles in the last quarter, marking a substantial drop from the previous year. This decline, amounting to a 43% decrease, positions Tesla with just 10% of the Chinese EV market share, trailing behind leaders like BYD. In response, 
Tesla has entered the fray of the ongoing price war, slashing prices on key models by significant margins. The Model 3, for instance, is now priced around $31,000, nearly $6,000 lower than its previous cost. To mitigate financial strains, Tesla plans significant workforce reductions, with reports indicating layoffs of 14,000 employees, half of which are expected from Chinese assembly lines. These measures reflect Tesla's strategic realignment in response to market pressures and underscore the challenges facing even the most prominent players in the Chinese EV landscape. Moving on to sign number two, strategic alliances, EV companies join forces for survival. As highlighted earlier, the market remains saturated, a trend expected to persist for the foreseeable future. Coupled with the enduring price war, many companies face an uncertain fate in the coming years. In this era of financial instability, avenues for securing fresh capital are narrowing, complicating the survival prospects for small and medium-scale enterprises. With traditional investment avenues dwindling amid the backdrop of the Chinese economy's challenges, companies are left with few options. Collaboration emerges as a compelling strategy for survival, compelling even the largest car makers to seek alliances. These strategic partnerships often extend beyond the automotive realm, encompassing collaborations with smartphone manufacturers and similar entities. For instance, Geely recently forged a partnership with Meizu, a smartphone maker, heralding the advent of the Meizu Dreamcar MX, their inaugural EV offering. Similarly, Huawei entered the automotive arena through a collaboration with Cherry, culminating in the Luxeed S7, positioned as a rival to the Tesla Model S. Such alliances not only infuse fresh capital, but also pave the way for innovation and market resilience, positioning collaboration as a cornerstone for survival in the competitive landscape. Finally, sign number one, weathering post-pandemic economic challenges. The ripple effects of COVID-19 have left an indelible mark on the Chinese economy, and while signs of recovery are evident, challenges persist. Decades of rapid growth have culminated in a plateau, with projected growth for this year hovering at a modest 4%. However, beyond mere statistics, the Chinese economy grapples with a myriad of issues. An aging population and strains on the banking system underscore the need for concerted efforts to stimulate spending and inject liquidity. Concurrently, the middle class faces regression, exemplified by vulnerabilities in the real estate market, which teeters on the brink of collapse. Furthermore, stagnation plagues the Chinese car market, contrasting sharply with the meteoric rise seen in 2017. With new registrations dwindling from 24 million to just over 21 million in seven years, the landscape offers limited opportunities for EV manufacturers to thrive, particularly amidst a stumbling economy. As Chinese companies navigate these turbulent economic waters, the outlook appears somber. We remain vigilant, observing closely to discern the strategies they employ to weather these tumultuous times. Don't miss out on our next deep dive into the world of vehicles and technology. Don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay revved up.